Hey guys, I'm Nick with Vertical South, John behind the camera. Welcome to setting a V4 in this thing. Nice. This, this section of our wall, which I call this thing. I already got some holds picked out, we're gonna get to those in a second. But if you guys like what we're doing, don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get to it. Welcome to the floor with the holds on it. Like I was talking about before, uh, setting a V4, always keeping in mind Rico, risk, intensity, complexity, originality. And I mean, with these holds right off the bat, I mean, you guys could probably see, they don't, they don't look like there's much to them. That's definitely putting us up into the four range. Lord, it helps us get there a little closer. So you're saying the quality of the holds being yeah. so bad? Definitely, the quality of the holds is already going to, like, I mean, just, you know, but look at these stuff. Yeah, very so shallow. So I definitely think this is one of the, one of the contributing factors to the four, obviously, but you know, not always, not always. But now I'm gonna take you over to the wall and show you what I'm gonna do on the wall. So on the uh, latest set here at the BRG, they've decided to put the volumes on this portion of the wall, which is nice because, and they, no one put holes underneath these. So I was thinking of using some underclings on these two and that volume right there, interacting with those um, for the four that I'm about to set, but let's do it. Okay, so locked and loaded in the pouch, the three holds uh, that I want to set on the undercling. And so normally I will start from the hands and then I'll work my way up to the top. But sometimes when I have like, when there's a feature on the wall that I'm like, yo, I want to use that, I will put the holds how I see them in my mind in that section. And then I will try and build like the beginning and the start. So kind of like piecemeal. Mm, okay which is good. But yeah, so under these boys and with the choice of these holds, uh, not really much on here and this like this, these are, this I think is a solid, depending on the, on the feet that I'm going to give them, the intensity of these is going to get me right to that, that four range that I wanted. Maybe. Could be a bunk bolt. Actually, yeah. It's the beauty of that pouch is that he's got multiple bolts, multiple holds, everything he needs for a couple moves. Look at that. That's excellent. Sick. Unfortunately, I don't have extra holds. On. I got a couple holds in here of all different varying qualities. 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 Let me go. Might be harder. Yeah. Might be a little harder. Like that. It depends on how you introduce them into that sequence, yeah. though. I think, I think if they get their, if the feet are just proper and good feet in the right position, you can call it a four. Might be a little harder. I just need to probably have to turn now, but we'll, I'll get there. I'll get there eventually. Let me get the other guy up there. So they're gonna be. Yeah, driving out this way, so I can already tell that this one needs to make it a little easier. This is the, dir the direction we'll be walking up the wall. I'll give him some feet to track. And then, yeah.
That's the one that we're probably gonna switch. Oh, I can already tell how bad it is. Okay, cool. So there's that. And then I probably should put the move that I want them to go to off that. <sighs> All right, so this is still basically the skeleton concept of setting, but we started with the thorax. Now we're going up to the head, and then we'll set the legs. Pretty much. That'll be... Yeah. I had a dream last night hmm. about a move in this particular area. I think I can do it. Maybe, maybe not. Nice ladder work there. I'm a pro. So the move that I had envisioned that I was, I was thinking about it yesterday. Um, it's a little more riskier of a move. So that's why I got the, I mean, I'm thinking if I, if I can kind of set that movement with these size holds, it'll keep it within the four range because they're not, they're pretty good. And I'm gonna put a foot down there. Okay. And then you'd use the corner of this or maybe another foot in here. Ideally, I want it where Matt's pink one is, but this is like a really cool problem, so we're not going to touch that. Obviously. And this is pretty good. So we come down there and have a foot down there. Full AK-47 grip on this now. Oh, how's that? That looks pretty comfortable. It's kind of okay. It's like if your shoulder gets too tired, you can just do this instead. I think this is all right. This will be good enough. <laughs> that was an awesome little loop you just did there. Was oh, that the finish hold? Yeah. And they'll have a foot right there, I think. Putting people up into the corners. Nobody puts baby in the corner. Um, all right, and since I know where the foot is going to go up there, I'm just going to put that. Now, are you worried about them using that foot as a hand? No, not this one. Oh, up there. Oh, okay. Because yeah. I'll, I'll flip it down like that. Sure. Anyways. Yeah, because this is more. So you're here. You're here. Edge. You're here with a foot down there, and then you have to s s press. And I think we should be fine. I could put another. Actually, I might put another foot out there. So you kind of, you're 
you press on that flagging, bump to this good pinch, and then that's the thing is I don't. This is kind of this is too probably too high. Just ask to put a foot right there. If your foot is on the volume, it might not be such a big deal. Like if your left foot's on the black volume. Yeah, your left, I mean, I was gonna put a, probably a foot there. I think you there. could do that step up pretty easily if your left foot's on the black volume. And if I had it, what, like right here? That's the well, that would be kind of high. You'd have to put it where the green one was, basically. But good green. news, that's your problem. The green one is my problem. Or we could Lone Star it. Yeah, definitely. You could Lone Star right next to it if you want. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna Lone Star it. So we're installing a Lone Star for the sake of Nick's problem. I don't think this is something we've done on the channel before. Of course, when you're using power tools, wear your safety glasses. But I've got this eight gauge tap and countersink bit. Now we went over this in our Tools of the Trade video. Um, I'm gonna use this to put an extra set screw into this hold here. You'll see that this hold has no set screw area, but this tool alone is gonna allow me to cut that in. Generally, it's best to do this over a trash can because you're gonna make a lot of plastic um, crud, but I'm just gonna sweep it up after we're done. And um, you should probably do it on a safer surface than this, but I've done this a few times before, so it's not such a big deal. But what I like to do is I'm gonna pick a part of the hold that has a lot. I don't wanna put the set screw all the way here at the end, right? That's gonna be very thin and is not gonna have a lot of purchase for the set screw. You wanna pick an area that has a little bit of meat on it, like a, a good amount of plastic. So I've selected kind of this corner here. You also wanna pick a spot that's logical for a set screw to be. Like I'm not gonna put it right near the bolt hole up here. I'm gonna put it kind of out near the outskirts to prevent that leveraging force. I like to start the drill kind of at a perpendicular angle to the hold. And then once I get it started, I can make it straight up and down. And there you have it. That one went a little bit deep, but that's not a big deal. It doesn't make a difference. Um, and you can see all the plastic crud that's left behind down there. But now we're gonna be able to use this awesome tool, uh, the Lone Star, which if you haven't seen before, is a great setting tool that allows you to basically turn any bolt on hold into a screw on hold. Uh, so let's see that real quick. So John showed you guys how to drill the countersink into the, uh, into the hold itself, which will allow us to put it up on the wall safely. So obviously the reason we would do a Lone Star is to put this anywhere where there isn't a, already a bolt or a T-nut, I should say, to place a bolt. And so you would use this the Lone Star as where the bolt would go and then so it doesn't spin and trust me guys I think both John and I have tried this without the countersink it does not work you got to put two screws in it otherwise that hold will spin on the screw of course um, but yeah so boom boom and then that's nice and secure for a foot you know you might want three if it's gonna be like a high trafficked handhold but for a foot which is what I find I use the most most of the countersinks or the Lone Stars for. So, but let's go go ahead and get this up there right now. As I walk up the ladder, I could point out that I did place two feet in the interim, right here and right here. And a note on these is like these are the same family of holds as the ones I'm going to use for the start that aren't up yet. But I had to make sure that you couldn't use those as like nice good down pulls. Otherwise, going underneath the uh, volumes would be defeated, and that's just not cool. It's about 10 degrees hotter up here. And I'm thinking. Be great. I mean, there's already actually, a, someone's already put a hole right there, so it's perfect. I already got a pilot hole and everything. And there you have it.
kind of premonitory dream as well about I was talking to the geek climber for whatever reason about uh, YouTube and subscri subscribers what did he tell you he confirmed my notion that if we get to 500 subscribers, then maybe we'll get to 1,000. And if we get to 1,000, then maybe 10. And then maybe eventually we can set every day for YouTube. That'd be pretty cool. That'd be pretty sweet. This might be better, I don't know. It looks a little better. So it looks like we went the way of good feet, bad hands. Yeah. Um, it's always fun. And then maybe one more feet, but I'd like to see John on it before we do that. Cool. Um, so I'm gonna throw some chalk on this while John gets his shoes on. And look at this blooming sweat. Just a few minutes before open, hoping to get a quick send, confirmation, an outro, everything we need for this video, and here it comes. Starts on these two? Yeah. Okay. Oh, wow. They're tricky. Got our foot out here, right? Yeah. Let's find a way that I can do this with minimal amount of effort. Bring your foot on the volume, just like toe on it. Yeah. Oh, dang. Give it a rest and then just try that top part right there. Yeah, I uh, don't know what I'm gonna do other than match that, match that hold. I was thinking that it would cross into the cross into this right hand. So I could cross left, and now my right hand is available to go out. But that did not happen. The bottom sequence is working out really well, and I think the top sequence is just hard. It's not necessarily. You're also not warm. Yeah, it's, I don't think it's in need of anything. There's a lot of options that just kind of like stalled when I got out there. Okay, let me try it one more time, real quick. I don't know what I'm supposed to do from there. 
Mashing that hold seems really tough. Um, if I had another hand to like go left to and then come out into that block, and I almost have enough courage to pull off that pinch and stiff arm my arm over there, but I can't quite bring myself to do it. Risk. Yeah, did you have a plan for, is, it, is my foot supposed to be on the low volume? I was gonna say, try your foot on the low volume or try it in the corner. In the corner, was, and then like drop me out to it? Yeah, like match it. Oh, dude, that match is tough. Then did you turn it more vertical? The pinch? Yeah, the pinch match. Oh, no, I think it's it's just like, I, I uh, especially right now, I think, like you said, I'm not necessarily warm, so my ability to, to lock on that and pinch and then have the semblance to be able to bring my left hand to it is not exactly there. Um, but if that's what your intention is, like maybe, maybe it's even just one more foot up here, so that way they can you can push a little harder out to the right. Do you have your moccasins on? Do you want to try it real quick? Uh, sure. Yeah, jump up there and try that. The bottom part flows really, really well. Nice. I guess I'm kind of, I just need beta. Beta! Nice. Oh, yeah, you do kind of want to do that. So that foot doesn't work. At least not for that particular portion. I thought it was for a later, I thought it was kind of for the finish. Um, uh, an easy fix might be just to bring another hand up there. That's, so what, I, that's what I was thinking. You were thinking that? Yeah, okay. so I got, um, it's a, it'll be a jug. But actually I think that honestly. Maybe kinda, that left hand crimp there, I mean, that one doesn't look too terrible, does it? Or is it pretty bad? I think it would be kind of too difficult. Oh, okay. Versus, that's like gonna be really easy though. Oh yeah, that's right, I have the whole. That's not that, that's well. No. I wonder if there's another pinch you could bring in. You know, I looked for a pinch. You could just use that hold right there and you can get your match. That big Myorkin Tufa pinch, that there and you get your match on it way easier. Oh, instead of that? Instead of that, and you could probably just switch those. Yeah. Because you already hit the four difficulty pretty easy, I'd say. All right, let's switch that. We'll get John on it real quick. Because we gotta open this gym up, boys and girls. That's right. Too small? Yeah, one up. Oh, shnickies. Oh, I have one in my. Boom. There's a bunch of one-ups in there. Oh, okay. It's at the bottom of the standard, so. This is gonna go. This will go into four town. Yeah, I think what you had set before was plenty. Uh, uh, it's just plenty little, doable. It's just probably it's outside of the yeah scope of the I, four. Yeah, They're ramped up to like a six right there. <laughs> nice. Okay. Cool. So I'm the intensity up. of that. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Got a little uh, a little heavier than expected. Um. So what hand is it gonna be on? So this. You on that one? Yeah. This. Underneath one, yeah. Let's see what I got to here.
You have a lower one even. Do we want? Underneath that volume. That would make it easier. Oh my god. It's just, you, there's, so there's two feet on either of those volumes. I thought that. you just ignored. And made I, it uh, sorry, I had to get it done. That one had to, had to get it be done. done. Oh my gosh. Dude, I feel like a slug in a bog right now. Look at the sweat on you. <sighs> So, I mean, you did that pretty much campus to finish, ignored the two feet. Yeah, so if you, if I was smart enough to find those feet down there, that last sequence would be way easier. I think that fits right in the four. That matches the holes at the finish and is way more matchable. So I think with the addition of the foot, with the swap of the hands, we're down near where we wanted to be at a four. Yeah. And the intensity really rides from the beginning all the way up and through. So I think that's a... We did it again. We did it again, y'all. Nice. So if you like what you saw, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button. We really appreciate all the support down in the comments, in the subscribing box and stuff like that. We like live and breathe off this stuff. So be sure to stick around next week when we shoot another video.